In 1935, a 25-year-old Southern California artist, Gene Swiggett, began getting the best kind of coverage in the Los Angeles Times. He eventually is awash and worked for the WPA in his home state of Indiana and here in California, largely at the direction of Lorser Feidelson. He even managed to have his first piece in an exhibit at the Corcoran. In 1939, Glenn Miller records for the first time under his own name. It is smack in the middle of the Great Depression. But Swiggett, like Miller, refuses to slow down. In 1939, Swiggett gets the break that all artists of the day sought. His work is juried into the World's Fair, the 1939 Golden Gate International Exhibition. Ultimately, he contributes several pieces to the famous GGIE, including Ivan in Armor, and a piece featured in our inaugural exhibition of his work, Arrangement with Apples. In the 1940s and 50s, Swiggett continued a very aggressive career, painting and showing his work, including nine solo exhibitions and over 90 group exhibits that include these two stunning portraits of his daughter, Stephanie. Swiggett traveled on to Europe on a sabbatical in 1960 and underwent a substantial re-examination of his painting effort, perhaps signified in this profound still life, Construction Zone. In the 1970s and 80s, the artist's work took on a lighter, irreverent, and much less conventional tone, including still lifes of pretzels and beer, and a topic so banal as a simple grid of Christmas candies executed in the finest detail. In so many ways, his last efforts seem to have been saved for his finest subjects. His later years were filled with rigorous studies and enormous paintings celebrating female and male nudes. He was in the vanguard of contemporary painters who returned to the human figure, such legends as Philip Perlstein, Fairfield Porter, and Alex Katz. In so many ways, Swiggett's The Ambassadors is the fulfillment of the change marked in the signage in Construction Zone. The five beautiful, powerful men stand on a lined labyrinth, each in anonymous dark glasses. They stand, shoulders back, ready to deal with the exigencies of life. Come see Gene Swiggett. One Man Renaissance. It will be on view through February of 2015.